you have rent going up tremendously. But not only that, in some states, there's not a cap. So yeah. that's an issue right there. It continues to go up. Right. And another issue is that a lot of places are not giving a 60 day notice. Right. Now, it depends on like the state. It also depends on, you know, what you have, you know, written out in your lease. So that does affect when you get a notice. But, you know, just based on some of these articles that we were reading, too, and not even just here in South Florida, across the U.S., People are getting, you know, tremendous rent increases, but not even given a 60 day notice. And so not only do you have to make a decision whether or not you're going to pay this increase, if you decide not to, I mean, to be able to pack up and move in a month right. is insane. Right. You know, it's like the just the stress from that alone right. is enough for you to be like the guy in the elevator that's venting like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Right. And it's really unfortunate because a lot of people are in a situation where they don't know what to do and their options are very limited. Right. That's another great segue to another article that we that we uh, just recently came across. Mm -hmm. And it came from NPR.com. And it says the headline says it's not just home prices, rent rents rising sharply across the U.S. Mm -hmm. And this is something we're, that we're already talking about right now. But mm -hmm. it just sucks because. The rental, uh, the rental prices are sky high, mm -hmm. but then the housing market is just as high. And then that kind of goes to the next point, which is inflation. Inflation yeah. is on the rise too. Over the last year, the housing market went from like 2.5 to 3% to interest rate yeah. to now it's over 4.5, 5 percent, yeah, and it's looking to, to go. Five. It's yeah. looking to go even higher. Mm -hmm. And you think about that. That that takes away from if you're looking for a house, that takes away your buying power mm -hmm. of how much house you really can afford. Because the higher interest rate that you have, the less house that you truly can afford if you're if you're using a mortgage. Mm -hmm. So you got to take that into account. And in in a, a, a video that I think we should do mm -hmm. uh, soon is. Building an emergency fund. Yes. I think that would.